hi everyone you're welcome back to my channel my name is nancy and if this is your first time here kindly subscribe share and like my videos and also put the notification bell to be notified when i upload new tutorials in today's tutorial i'll be showing you how i made this stylish skirt wrapper this is a trendy and unique style because the skirt wrapper can be noted in two different ways and it's also a modest style in the sense that it doesn't reveal the legs while working compared to the regular wrappers so let's get started the name of the fabric i'm working with is called a silk fabric you can also make use of a crepe fabric or a duchess satin fabric to know the amount of the fabric you need in achieving this wrapper you'll be working with your hip circumference for materials like this the first thing you should note is that the length is usually by 59 or 60 inches as i said earlier to know the width of the fabric i need I'll be working with my hip circumference. My hip circumference is 37 inches, so I place the starting of my tape from this edge to measure 37 inches. So to create an excess space that would allow me not my wrapper properly, I added extra inches to the hip circumference. I actually placed my tape from the 37 inches I marked to add about 14 inches so the essence of adding this space like i said is for you to be able to knot the wrapper properly and to also work freely so for instance if your hip circumference is 40 inches you mark a width of 40 inches and you had an extra allowance of 14 inches just the way i did for mine so the length of my fabric is 60 inches so it's quite long and instead of me cutting the belt from a different fabric i'll just cut it from this same fabric by folding the top of the fabric into two as shown making sure that the length of this fold is five inches now i'll go ahead to trim this out All right, so this is the pieces I would use in making the belt. The next step is to fold the width of the fabric into two equally. So I would notch the center fold so I can easily identify that this is the waistline of the wrapper. On this side of the edges, I would place my tape vertically from the waistline to mark 17 inches. And this 17 inches will be the length of the slit, which is at the center front of the wrapper. Now, from this 17 inches, I would make a straight stitch down to the aim. For a plus size person, you can decide to leave about 4 inches slit from the bottom at this place to help you feel more comfortable while working. To secure the slit opening, I had to spread out the fabric and folded the slit by half inch in and further folded it in by half inch and i'll be securing it with a straight stitch downwards following the direction of my finger and when i get to this point i'll raise the machine footer to make like an horizontal line and also raise the machine footer to make a vertical line at this point just to secure the other side of the slits
All right, the slit has been properly secured. So these pieces was cut out in the first place because of the belt. I folded the fabric into two to divide the fold. So you can decide to use the entire length of this belt but because i'm on the slim side i decided to use a length of 40 inches i took one side of the belt and folded it into two I'll be making a straight stitch on the line I chopped by half inch. Now stop sewing from here, making sure that there is an opening to turn the fabric to the right side. So both belts are ready. I folded the top of the waistline by 2.5 inches and folded the edge by half inch. So on this side of the belt that has the opening, I inserted it into the edge of the fold to pin them together so i'll keep pinning the edges of the fold until i get to the end of the waistline The next step is to insert the second belt into the fold on this edge. So pin them together. I would make a straight stitch following the direction of the chalk. to this end the final step is to secure the M of the skirt by folding it half inch and further folding it by half inch 
after securing the hem of the skirt i turned it to the right side of the fabric all right guys this is the final outcome i hope this tutorial was helpful you should give it a try and if you are new to my channel kindly subscribe share and like my videos and also put on the notification bell to be notified when i upload new tutorials thank you